this is the butt end of that log that I cut the chunk that had the metal in it off of. It's too big as it is, but I've got uh, some lines drawn on it here and over here where I'm going to rip it down and shape it as a smaller log. This will be uh, 5BR. It will go on the right side of the window. These pieces will be the total length uh, notch and the two inch overhang and the length of the log inside the room will be four foot four and a half. And I have two of those to cut and I was using up some of my extra pieces that I had cut off so that I wouldn't have any waste. And this was big enough that I could trim it down and make it work. It'll be a nice piece after it's all said and done. Now I can knock the uh, sharp edges off and round this like it was uh, the natural round shape of a tree. And you'll never know that this piece was a lot bigger than what it ends up to be. All right, sometimes when you're working little short pieces, like this is only four foot four and a half inches total length, it's a little bit light. Um, so I had to do some extra bracing on it to try to keep it from sliding around just so I could hew it. Uh, you get into that occasionally, working some, some pieces that are, are short, like this log here is. So I had to put another brace on there and fix it to where it wouldn't slide around so that I could hew it. There may be a time when you have to uh, put a clamp on these short pieces. Sure makes it nice when you can clamp that thing down when you're cutting the notch, not moving around on you. Now all I gotta do is put some anchor seal on the notch and on this flat spot and this log is ready to put on the wall. This is five, round five, a wall. There are actually three separate pieces in this particular log. I have five AL. And this is five AM, which actually is a middle piece which will go between uh, the doorway and the window opening and 5AR
this log right here, which is 5CL, needs to lean out. I'm not sure I can get in there with the camera to see that, or where you can see it, but it's just about the thickness of a saw, hand saw pass. I can make one silky pass, which is my little folding saw, on the outside, on the bottom side of the notch, and that should bring that back to plumb. Now what I've done, just before I make that saw pass, I put a wedge in here on the outside. Actually, I put two in there. And that will keep this log, when I make the saw pass, right through here, it'll keep that log from sitting down on my saw blade and pinching it. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I put my blade in right in the center. If you remember that I explained on the bottom part of the notch, I make it concave and I can make my pass, my saw passes or do whatever I have to do to actually do some final fitting on everything. But I just started right in the center and just worked my way around, just real gentle. And I'll just turn the blade and uh, go on up and and make one saw pass right down through there which should bring this log back to plumb well i've got it plumb which is what i wanted to do and i got a pretty fair fit i still have these shoulder passes i need to make here for an old man. Got it with one arm.